How do you animate text in Framer? A question that many beginners ask when starting to build sites with Framer. In this quick video, we're discovering six ways to make our text layers a little crazier by adding all sorts of animations to them without writing a single line of code. My name is Nandi, this is Framer University, and let's get started. So first of all, I just want to let you know that you're going to find a remix link for this project in the description so you can just remix it and take a look into the file yourself. If you didn't understand something or you just want to take a peek inside of the project that I'm going to be showing you right here in this video. So the first way of animating text is going to be, you know, the native way on the built-in text effects in Framer. So let's take a brief look at them. The way you can use them is basically just selecting any layer on your canvas. So for example, here we have this title, Animate Text in Framer. We can select it and then on the right panel, we can look for effects. We can click this and then you see that we have a bunch of effects in Framer, but we're going to only cover the text in this video. So if we click text, then we have this little popover, but essentially now this text effect is already added to our text with a specific preset. We can now load our website. Uh, we can just go into preview with command on P or with this little play button here. And you see that it already looks pretty cool. So if I reload the page, this text effect will play. And you can see that this text effect is triggered on appear. You can also see it here. It is set to on appear. We can also use section in view or layer in view. Uh, layer in view basically means that, let me show you. So if we duplicate this section and then we don't really have anything on the first section, and then we set this here to layer in view, then it's basically gonna play when we scroll to that section and this text layer comes into the view. Um, so yeah, as you can see, the default setting on this already looks pretty cool, but you can tweak the properties if you go into the enter. So you can, you know, set different properties for opacity, scale, blur, rotation, skew, whatever. Also the transition here. And you can also animate per character, per word, line, or element. So yeah, you can play around with a bunch of properties here. But one, a little limitation of native text effects in Framer is that you, you can see that you cannot really play them on scroll. So they are, again, either played on a peer, so when we land on the website, or when a specific section or layer, this specific layer, comes into the view. But even if that's the case, so if we set layer in view, then, you know, it comes into the view, but it, it just plays the whole thing. The animation is not really controlled with my scroll. So again, as you can see, I scroll here and it, it, it's already there. It's already animated in. So the second way of animating text in Framer is going to be a component that lets you basically adding these same effects to your text layers, but make them, you know, scroll based. So as you scroll, that's how you play those animations. So let's take a quick look at that as well. So as you can see, I have switched to a different page inside of this project on the left layers panel, not the layers, but the pages panel. Uh, we are on the on scroll page. So on this page, we're going to discover this component, which is called text effect on scroll. So you can see that these text layers are not simple text layers. So they are not created with pressing down T on our keyboard and clicking here to write something and then you know, changing the color. So again, these are not simple text layers. You can see that they are purple. So these are components. And these components have, you know, properties on the right panel that we can customize, such as the text, what is written here, and of course the effect, the animation, and we do all sorts of different things. Mostly, you know, the same things that we had on the native text effects. But now these will play as we scroll on the page. So let's take a look at this. As you can see now, it doesn't complete the animation as the text layer enters the viewport. If I stop my scroll, the animation stops. And you know, in some cases, this is what you need. So you can see this nice animated in, and then this text here as well have this nice effect. And yeah, I think it looks uh, pretty cool. You might be wondering where can you get this component from? So if you go to framework.university and click this little resources page, you're gonna find a bunch of different components and resources. But if you search for text scroll animator here, you're gonna find a component and you're gonna be able to copy this to your flipboard and then paste it into Framer. 
All the other components that I'm going to be showcasing in this video will be found on the Framer University website, but I'll also leave a link for them down in the description. And again, you have a bunch of properties here. The animation can be, uh, you know, either in quick, in slow, out quick, out slow. So for example, out quick will basically mean that it will be, you know, animated in by default, but when it starts and uh, like leaving the viewport on the top, it starts like animating out. So basically that's why it's called out. And in and out will basically do the in animation. So as you can see, it appears. Um, and if we focus on this little text here, it will also leave when it reaches the top. So yeah, I think it is pretty straightforward, easy to work with. And yeah, you basically get the native text effects, but you know, triggered on scroll and really, you know, triggered and controlled with our scroll progress. So now let's take a look at something a little bit different, the third way of animating text in Framer, which is going to be a little scramble effect. So again, I jumped to the third page on the left pages panel to scramble. And here we are discovering the scramble appear component. So as you can see, we have this little title here that we animated with native text effects that looks something like this. But what if we want to make it you know, a little bit more interesting? We can use the scramble appear component for that. So it's already here. I'm going to just toggle it. So set the visibility to yes. And I'm going to hide the other one. And you can see that again here on the right panel of this component, I can change the text, uh, the characters that will be used for the scramble effect. Uh, I can also change where it's scrambling from and the speed and all sorts of other properties. But let's now just take a look at what it does. And as you can see, it looks pretty cool. You can see that the scrambling parts also have a different color according to what we set here for the scrambled color. We can also set the speed characters, so how many characters are actually scrambling. We can also change the animation to either layer in view or on a peer. We can also replay this, so whenever this enters the viewport, it will nicely play here. You can see that these little prices here on these cards also have these components, so whenever I scroll to them, they nicely appear with this scramble effect. And yeah, again, you can fully customize it on the right properties panel. As you can see, it looks very cool. But again, with this, the problem is that it kind of plays again on appear or when this, you know, layer comes into the view when, for example, it comes to these pricing cards. So what if I want to have some sort of, you know, scramble effect, but as I scroll down, the next way of animating text will be about another component that does just that. So again, I moved to the fourth page on the project scramble scroll and if i scroll down here you see that we have a scroll decrypt component and on the right panel i have set a long long paragraph inside which is completely invisible for me because it will start off as a decrypted text or sorry an encrypted text and we're going to decrypt that text um, again, a bunch of properties. I'm not going to go deep within these because they are pretty simple. If I play this, you can see as I start scrolling down and this paragraph starts appearing, first we see this scrambled, like uh, encrypted text. And then as I start scrolling down, it starts like decrypting. And yeah, it, it also looks pretty interesting. One extra thing that I forgot to mention for these scramble effects is that you might want to use them with mono fonts because mono fonts basically don't change the width of the characters. And this makes sure that when we are changing characters for specific letters, it's like not breaking into new lines because you know, certain lines would get wider. If we were to use like inter, we can also take a look at that just to show you. So as you can see with inter, it, it looks a little bit, you know, weird. You can see it's, it's a little bit jumpy as like the lines start changing the width because you know each character has a different width because inter is not a mono font but if i switch back to a mono font it looks a little bit more smoother um so yeah that's it for the scroll decrypt component and now actually look at another component that animates our text in a little bit different way it actually cycles through multiple words with a specific effect. So let's take a look at that now. I'm going to switch to the cycle page here and you can see that we have this little hero section here 
quick shout out to the studio size website because this is where i got the inspiration from and this is why i created this component which is you can already see a little like staggered text cycle effect where you can cycle through multiple words so the way it works is that you have this staggered cycle component on your page and then again on the right part of this panel you could just you know, change the text the different words that you are cycling through you just have to divide the words with commas and yeah basically that's it you can change the speed the length stagger the font and basically everything that you might want to change and then you can see inside of framer it works perfectly it will just cycle through your different words and yeah again it will just add a little in a nice touch um, to your framework websites. And the best part is that you don't really have to you know, write any code to achieve this. Now we have animated our characters. We have done like scroll animations, but what if you want to animate the color of your text in a little bit more interesting way? Well, you can use the text shimmer component for that. On our last page here, inside of the project, we can see an example of that. As you can see on this little hero section, we have this pill on the top that highlights a new update inside of Framer. And yeah, this little text layer has this text shimmer effect as the you know, color runs through the text from left to right. And again, this is fully customizable. Let me show you. I'll go within this component here, which is first of all, just a no code component. And then within that, we have the code component that actually does the effect, which is the text shimmer component. And on that, we can just look on the right panel and see all the properties. We have the content, which is basically what is written here. We can change the font, of course, the color, like the default color of the text and the shimmer color. So if I wanted to have a, I don't know, yellow shimmer, let's say, let's take a look at that. We can also have that and it looks not bad. Uh, and then we can also change the direction. So it's either running to the left or to the right and user select, rotation, delay. These are not that interesting, uh, but yeah, you just have this cool little effect. Again, makes your designs a little bit more interesting. So yeah, that's it for this video. I really do hope that it was helpful. And now you're gonna be able to animate your text layers on your framework websites and make them a little bit more crazier. So yeah, let me know if you have any comments um, or questions in the comments and yeah, also check out Framer.University. You're going to also find all the components that I showcased in this video. And yeah, like this video, subscribe for more, and I'm going to see you in the next one.